Soulsire G has a lot of gauntlets to choose from. When you get to the left handed gauntlets, it gets really confusing to know which one is the best out of all of them in the game. And a lot of the gauntlets near the best woods are pretty difficult to understand. You don't really know which one's the best and it's just really confusing. So in this video, I'm going to prove which gauntlet is the best using maths, which means that we actually have numbers to tell you that a specific gauntlet is much better than all of the other gauntlets in the game. And I actually mean it, guys. So I will be doing these tests with the look of the star shaper telling you guys how vip and vip plus are really worth it when you're using gauntlets and how op and broken the xyz potion is so this is well using maths and please stay with me as this won't really be boring because this time you actually do something useful for once with it and you actually get a result kind of like this now these are two things that go to be comparing between the gauntlets the look per roll and the look per second and one of them is more important than the other but i'll get into that later and this isn't like an AFK test where you just sit with the gauntlet and hope that you get lucky because those can be biased. Sometimes you can get luckier of one, unluckier of another, and it kind of breaks Bruh. the point of doing a comparison. So those tests aren't very good, but with this test, you'll actually know which gauntlet is the best, which one we should AFK with. And let's just say what two values we'll be getting. So the look per roll is how much luck you get every single time you roll down here. And the look per second is how much look from all the average rolls you get per second all these values being averaged out because you can't really get a weird looking graph that's a little odd but look per second is what we're going to be looking at because it takes account the roll speeds which is the second buff over the aurora but like i said before vip and vip plus are really important for this so right before we get into this video i want to ask you guys to please subscribe as once we reach 20,000 subscribers i'll be giving away 20 vip plus game passes so look for subscribers at comments comment time roll to 20k in the comment section and once we reach 20k i'll give away 20 vip plus game passes to 20 commenters Add them on Roblox and gives you the game pass because this game pass is insane. If you have it with VIP, you get 1.3x look, which changes the values a lot, as you'll see later. Also, thank you, Victoria, for donating $2 in the comment section. I greatly appreciate it and it will help me make higher quality content. But only the developers really have the capabilities to give stuff like admin auras. But I have sent you a friend request on Roblox. So, if I go to the algebra part of this, this looks like an absolute mess this looks like the type of stuff you'd purposefully zone out in school because you just don't want to look at it because it hurts but it's actually kind of simple which i will explain to you now so technically what we are doing here is adding up the total look in 10 rolls the normal roll and the bonus roll then dividing them by 10 to get the average look per roll and we do this for every gauntlet the dark shader has to be 30 because every 20 to roll it goes on for 10 rolls with these 2.5x look rolls which we have to take into account for and we also do have the gravitational Device as well as we will be comparing dark shader pole light core and just for fun the gravitational device and basically first of all we want the base look which is the star shaper this does give 700 look but to get the base look you divide it by 100 to get seven and you add it by one for base which would give eight look oh that is the base you then basically multiply it by s and then add it by the bonus roll on the 10th roll which gives you a pretty big number the star shaper is actually all the way down here it's the worst one because it's just a star shaper after all and if you do want to add something to the base you could easily just add fortunes by like getting the amount of look as dividing it by three and just change all the values a small bit but usually the difference is about the same but because this is average look per roll it's a little bit different because as you can see here the pole light core and the dark shader are really mm. similar and if i add a lucky potion onto this simply you can tell that everything changes and in the end the dark shader is better than the pole light core when it comes down out the average look per every roll so why do i not have it equipped then well we have to still get it to average look per second but as you can see the gravitational device just consistently stays worse than the pole light core if i just add a lot of look here like 20 eventually the gravitational device does actually catch up the pole light core but at the moment we're keeping it at seven but because of the extra roll speed of the pole light core you can't really account for the actual amount of look that it gives you which is why we're doing average look per second so every second without gauntlets you roll one aura how roll speed works in this game is that if you add 50 
it basically makes it so that you get 1.5 auras per second. And you have to do a little bit of extra math to understand the skip. So every 15 rolls, you get five skips. It's not every 20, it's every 15. But let's get into another graph. A is base roll speed plus star shaper, which would be 3 over 2 or just 1.5. Same as C and star shader and gravitational, but this is different. This time we get a polite core, which would be 15 rolls multiplied by the star shaper plus five rolls, which are the skips because the skips give 1000% roll speed, which would be 10 rolls per second and plus A of course. And when you divide it by 20, you get four, which is a massive average roll speed. It's absolutely insane. But if we get to this, what we basically have to do is just to get every single value from this graph and multiply it by three over two or A, B, C, and then A again, which gets us different numbers. Yay. So this is of course the star shaper. It's the least. This is the gravitational. It's going to continuously be behind the dark shader. But this is the dark shader and we have the polite core. Just by looking at this, we can tell that's the best left handed got in the game. I will show you some exact numbers in a second, but let's just show you that even if we change the base look a small bit by changing it to like 21 again, polite core just stays better. We make it 100, polite core stays better. And even if we do add something like a haste tree, which would add 0.75 this also doesn't change the numbers by a whole lot so in the end this is just better the polite core is so much better let's get it to the table where we can see even more how much better the polite core is f is just star shaper which is pretty bad and p is gravitational being slightly better the six x roll pretty much carrying then we have the dark shader which is slightly better not too much better but slightly better and then the polite core which absolutely destroys the dark shader with over two times more look per second and honestly this is all average so you might experience slightly different look but the difference is so big here that you just need the polite core it doesn't matter you might not have the look per roll spike but you do have the sudden five billion rolls at once which kind of acts like a look spike and even if you keep on going the difference is basically always the same it's just so much better you just need to use the scotland guys and especially if you have xyz it's just even better than if we do even more multiply it's actually kind of interesting because just giving yourself a single piece of VIP makes the gravitational device as good as the dark shader. And if you make it VIP plus, the worst color on this list becomes the second Say best, what? which shows how good this is. And just to make it all even crazier, let's just add VIP plus to the polite core, which genuinely becomes broken. If we go into here, the polite core now has 74 base look. A 1 by 3 might not seem like a lot, but it's just insane. Every 10 rolls, you get nearly a thousand look which clearly shows why you might be getting a lot of globals with this thing. And to make it even crazier, if we do it with VIP Plus and the 2X look, the game breaks, pretty much. Which makes it so that every single second you get a 148 look guy. Me. It basically means that on average you wouldn't be able to get rage if everything was averaged out. And of course you can because it's average look per second not average look per roll but it's insane. Basically getting minimum rage every second you roll. So let's go back to the real world and get rid of a couple of these. If you want you can copy all of this down into your own calculator, GeoGebra, whatever software thing. Do it yourself. Everything's up here. The dots are multiply. X is a roll so you just use that and this is divided and to be honest it's genuinely insane how broken this god is especially as how easy it is to get for new players because if so gifts you these game passes and you get lucky you can get yourself some pretty good gauntlets like snow rider Xmas champion and everything which might seem bad for me at the moment but you can get all three of them and make a pole like core which is better than even the ragnarokker is when it comes to base look so that was all for the video use pole like core right now if you want as much look as you can and if you're a leaderboard player and everything because if you don't you're scamming yourself out of your time and it's good that this will be craftable after the event but please like subscribe if you guys want to cook a lot of this garlic because it's genuinely op and well goodbye